Hello everyone, and welcome back for a new weather video. On this update, I'm going to show you my first winter thoughts video for the winter of 2022 through 2023. Because we are several months away from the start of winter, the information in this video will likely change in the coming months. Because of that, this will not be a full forecast, so there won't be individual maps for the temperature and precipitation forecasts. What I wanted to focus on in this video is what will be the main influence on the upcoming winter, and then what different areas of the United States can expect. Without further ado, let's begin. If you have been watching my videos and long-range forecasts for a long time, you know that I always make sure to put a lot of attention on what we call the El Niño Southern Oscillation, since it always has such a big impact on our weather. For those who don't know what this means, the El Niño Southern Oscillation is a recurring climate pattern involving changes in the temperature of waters in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. When the sea surface temperatures are warmer than usual, it is referred to as El Niño. The cooling phase of the ocean temperature is known as La Niña. But sometimes the ocean temperatures are neither El Niño or La Niña, so we refer to this phase as an Enso neutral. So now that we know what the El Niño Southern Oscillation is, it's important to know what phase we are expecting in the upcoming winter, and what it means for you. The graph on your screen represents the different model predictions beginning in February of 2022 through March of 2023. The black line in the middle represents a neutral phase. The different colored lines above the black neutral line represent an El Niño, and the colored lines below the neutral line represent a La Niña. If we take a closer look towards the end of this graph, during December, January, February, and March, we can see that the majority of the models show a weak to moderate La Niña, with some even showing a trend towards a neutral phase by the end of winter. So what does this mean? As of now, the most likely scenario for the upcoming winter season is a weak to moderate La Niña for the first half of winter, before potentially trending towards a neutral phase by the second half of winter. So what does this mean for you? Let's take a look at a map I created. This map I made represents the most dominant type of weather that I expect in the winter of 2022 through 2023. Let's begin in the Pacific Northwest, where we have a dark green shade from California to Washington State. If you live here, I think that some rainy periods will be possible during the winter, with multiple Pacific storms moving onshore in this area. The next area is a light purple shade which stretches from the western United States to the east. I expect a very cold and snowy winter for areas in this purple shade, with numerous snow events, some of which could be significant, along with blasts of bitterly cold air in some areas. We also have an orange shade which dominates the southwestern United States into areas of Texas. If you live there, I anticipate a warm and dry winter overall. This doesn't mean that we won't see some wintry weather especially in Texas, but overall expect it to be a mild winter. The next area is this light blue shade, which is in place from the western United States into parts of the Missouri and Ohio Valley. I expect to see some snowy periods in these places, with multiple snowstorms tracking through the region. I also can't rule out a few Arctic invasions that could bring very cold temperatures. The next area I wanted to review was this bright pink shade, which extends from northern Texas to the mid-Atlantic. This is called the Winter Battle Zone. I have implemented this area because just like every year, multiple snowstorms will move through the area, but bringing different impacts every time. While one storm brings widespread ice across the region, the next storm may dump heavy snowfall in areas that usually don't see it. So if you are within the winter battle zone, be ready for numerous storms bringing different impacts, including rain, sleet, freezing rain, and snow. If you live within this dark purple shade, which is across the northern areas of the country, you can expect extremely cold and extremely snowy conditions, with dangerously cold temperatures at times, as well as numerous blizzards, but primarily in the northern plains. If we move down to the southern United States, severe weather will be a common occurrence across the Gulf states, as winter storms bring their dangerous warm side through the area, resulting in severe weather and even tornado outbreaks. The last area to review is in eastern areas of the northeast, which is where I expect to see a few nor'easters this year. If you live in this dark blue area, be ready for some nor'easters that will likely bring strong winds, heavy snow, and coastal flooding. And that concludes my winter thoughts video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more weather-related content from my channel.